Well, good morning, everybody. So, yeah, I want to do kind of like a part two. Now that I have the thing in the rack, I've assigned it an HPIB address. Uh, it seems to work just fine. I have had no issues or reoccurring issues. So, I want to cover some of the other functions this thing does now that I've uh, read the freaking manual and uh, didn't try to just fumble my way through it like I did on the first one. What I want to cover in this one is some extra functions that this thing does and how to actually set the presets and explain what these keys do. So, when you set presets, it will store, you have uh, 10 registers, 0 through 9, and uh, it will store all of the operational parameters. So, uh, say I want to uh, recall uh, register 0. So I press recall, zero. And so all the parameters I had set in there are right back where they were. Now if I want to display uh, the, pr the parameters of, uh, of a particular preset but I don't want it to take effect, then I press the display button and let's look at the ones for uh, preset one. So we will have a, a frequency of 20 megahertz in, uh, set in that preset. Then, if I want to use that, of course, then I can just uh, recall one, and it will just go to it. And uh, storing is basically the same the same method. Uh, you get all your parameters set. You press the store button, and then the register button. Now, there's other. Let's see here. Let me uh, recall number zero. Now there's another, some other functions here with the uh, that are used in conjunction with the increment buttons here. This will allow you to set the phase relate. This button here, it's the it's the, uh, the phase increment button. This allows you to set the phase relationship between the 10 megahertz output on the back of the instrument and the frequency output jack on the front. And I'll show that here in a few minutes or a couple minutes. The amplitude uh, steps, same thing. You can uh, set it to step as low as uh, a hundredth of a dB. Right now it's set for uh, 1 dB. So if I wanted to have it step in 10 dB increments, I'll just enter 10 uh, dB. So now when I go through and use these buttons, it'll step 10 dBs at a time. Uh, same thing with frequency. Uh, right now it's set to 1 Hz. You can set it for as low as a, as a 1 millihertz. But when you do that, you can press the button up and down. Or we can go to, let's say, uh, let's step at 1 megahertz steps. And same thing there. Now, what I'm going to show next, I'm going to uh, show you the uh, the phase button here or the phase uh, function here really cool so give me a second here okay now I had the scope hooked up here the uh, the top trace is the 10 megahertz output on the back of the unit and the uh, or excuse me no the top trace is the uh, the front output of the signal generator the bottom trace is the 10 megahertz output jack on the back of the unit. Now I have the scope to trigger on channel 2, which is the output on the back of the unit. So now I can go in here and we can uh, set the increment. So let's set it for 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Now when I use these, uh, these up and down buttons, that changes the phase relationship between this frequency and the frequency in back. So, when I press this button here, I can shift the, uh, the phase output difference, or the out, or, uh, uh, I can change the, uh, the phase relationship from the, uh, from the back 10 megahertz reference to the front. Pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's another function that uh, the, the 25, uh, or the 3325A has as well. But I thought that was kind of an interesting thing there. But yeah, you can really go bonkers. You can easily go past, you know, 360. But. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Other than that, I think that's, uh, well, I 
think that's all I've got. But uh, yeah, it functions just fine uh, remotely. Uh, all these functions are still pretty much, you know, self-explanatory. But anyway, yeah, I think that's all I had to add here. So, but, uh, yeah, quite the interesting instrument. Catch you guys later.